There's only one rule in this fucking jungle. When the lion's hungry, he eats. It's as if there are two wolves living inside you. One wolf is good. He only fights when it is right to do so. Another wolf is hateful. He fights no matter the reason. It's as if these two wolves are both fighting to dominate your spirit. And they ask his grandfather which wolf is stronger. And the grandfather looked into his grandson's eyes and he said, It's the one you feed. Alright, so we in the house, as y'all can see, it's a little bit empty in here. I told y'all we was moving out of this place, and as y'all can see, we doing that right now. Got Bay in the kitchen wiping shit down, and shit, get ready for this video. Boom, new beginnings over here at 8901. We just made a major upgrade to the camp. I'm gonna show y'all that right now. We officially got a fucking backyard. Boys then went broke, but hey, for the fam, we gotta we gotta do it right. Got the bulls back here. It's YG and Lola. Got my micro right there, my micro bully pool. Pool the micro bully. How y'all doing? So yeah, we out here in the backyard. Finally got a fucking backyard. It feels so good to say that. I ain't gotta walk them on the leash and worry about my fucking neighbors being scared of bullies and stuff like that. I mean, I, I'm still gonna walk them or nothing like or something like that. But I'm still gonna walk them. But at the same time, I ain't gotta walk them. I can just let their ass out in the backyard, let them play for about three hours, bring their ass back in the house. Uh, I waited a few days to actually finish this video because it's been raining like crazy and I wanted a real nice day so y'all can actually see the bull. We've probably been here for about almost a week. And yeah, we ain't really had time to do much out here. Eventually, I'm going to section this side off for them. And I'm going to have, have to rotate them between this side and this side because you're just stealing sticks off the... Watch this. Watch this. YG. Get it. drive that boy gone that boy gonna work you feel me let them niggas know Pooter you got a backyard now Pooter but yeah probably section this off so we can rotate them and they don't just kill the grass we also gotta get a pooper scooper for this dooter booter right here cause this boy be going she be going, going. And she's still in training, so we're working on getting her to stop pooping in the house. For the most part, she get it. It's just those late nights. Late, late nights is when we have our most issues. Other than that, shit. It's still a waiting game because we are waiting on Lola to come of age. Also, we are waiting for um, karma to come of age. This is a process. I'm not in a rush trying to buy, buy grown females to go ahead and just, I don't know, dive in like everybody else. When I first made my YouTube, it was not that many people on YouTube. Not hating on nobody. It's enough money for everybody. But at the same time, um, everybody got their own process. So my process is a slow and steady approach. I want to be able to train all my dogs and raise them from birth so we can actually have some consistency in behavior. YG is the blueprint. 
but yeah, major upgrades to the camp. Um, should be a lot more in the future. Good thing about the place we live in, we live around a lot of feed stores. Um, and we live, it's like country modern in a way. So stay tuned for more shit, you feel me? Get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> YG over here doing some gardening for us, you know. What you trying to help? I got this in. Why'd you get the top part? Get the top part. That boy look good, look at him. That boy look good, don't he? Just gave him a bath not too long ago, so he's actually pretty pristine right now. He's probably about to fuck that up, but good job, my boy. Get the rest. Hey, if y'all need a gardener, my dog is amazing. He does uh, hit edge of yard. He hit the bushes one time for you. He pick up all the litter afterwards. Lola gonna help, of course. Poodle gonna sit there and make sure the project go as planned. In the house right now, got the bulls in here, you feel me? As you can see, come on. Got a lot of room for the boys. My boy YG over there eating. Got Lola right here, my micro right there. You feel me? So definitely got a lot more room than we did at the apartment. A lot of room for opportunity, a lot of room for more dogs, more bulls. We got a lot coming y'all way. Right now we in the phase of just doing our research, doing um, a lot of, you know, um, We in, we in our research mode where we just kind of diving more into what it takes to be a successful breeder. Uh, I did dive into uh, or am starting to dive into more is dog nutrition. And it's crazy what I found out about dog food. Like, the shit is mind blowing for real, for real. Um, I could sit here and tell you, but it'll take forever. So if y'all want a separate video on that, just comment below and I'll drop a video on uh, what I'm learning about dog food in itself. Uh, I'm still in the process of learning more, but I have enough information to make a video about it. Also, if y'all have uh, any other things that y'all wanna see, go ahead and drop that in the comments. Also, um, I'm open to ideas if y'all have uh, Something y'all y'all want to see from my camp? Uh, just go ahead and drop it in the comments, and we will probably use it in future videos. Um, we do have our own videos that we have planned, so we definitely got ideas. So we don't mind suggestions. Um, I'm not claiming to be the best, but I do have some years of experience under my belt, even though. Um, Y'all may not know who I am. Um, I have bred dogs in the past. Um, just from a, a young boy, young bull, um, definitely got a lot of experience under my belt as far as breeding. I bred my own, my first, my first breeding was probably when I was I don't know. How old was I? I was like in eleven in eleventh grade in high school when I did my own first personal breeding. But even before then, um, I had my hands in a lot of other projects with other people who were, had their own breeding program um, when I was in elementary school. So 
Um, I've always been around stuff like this. Uh, I've always had my hands and stuff like this. So I'm definitely a dog lover, definitely been around the block. Um, I don't think because I was just really humble in the last video that I don't got uh, some experience behind my belt. I'm just fine tuning it and diving more into information that wasn't there when I was younger. So stay tuned. Uh, I do have more informational videos coming y'all way. We still got that video on YG we about to drop. And yeah, we're going to drop a video on Lola pretty soon. Might have a couple shows we have to go to that's coming up. Got two net, well, two months from now that's coming up. Um, birthday next month too, so we're gonna have to turn up. But other than that, appreciate y'all for watching this video. See y'all next time.